I actually think the main challenges in this domain relies on the data uh, that uh, the domain is uh, dealing with. First of all, the availability of the data. Offline evaluations are one of the most common approaches in this, um, in this domain to evaluate the works. And offline evaluations by itself is not the perfect way to, to, to evaluate it. Think about it. When in an offline evaluation, we use the algorithm to, 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 to generate some recommendation, and then we judge this algorithm based on offline data sets which have been collected previously. Now, when we judge that and we find that some paper have been generated by that algorithm didn't appear in the positive papers of the, uh, of the user, then we penalize that algorithm and we say the algorithm didn't work perfectly. But actually, there is, a po there is a possibility that the user could have liked that paper if he had had a chance to, to, to see it, read it, and then annotate it. So if offline evaluations is actually not the perfect um, scenario to evaluate the models, online evaluations are those, but actually there are no uh, tools out there to support online evaluations. On the other hand, assuming we have the data for offline evaluations, this data is usually extremely sparse, and that's also one of the basic challenges uh, that, that prevents um, a lot of good models to, 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 uh, to behave perfectly. So that we have a lot of papers compared to the number of users, especially about the number of users who are willing to give uh, ratings. And the final challenge I would say is related to the, to the language. So we are dealing with natural languages and the recommender system need to model that language, understand user interest and discover uh, something like synonyms or uh, the problem of polysemy and all of that so that it matches and finds the perfect paper for the users.